the first scientifically documented mosasaur fossils, consisting of skulls, were discovered in the Netherlands during the 1760 years and 1770 years. However, these fossils were initially misidentified as belonging to a fish, crocodile, or whale. It wasn't until the late 1790 years that their resemblance to monitor lizards was recognized, leading to the realization that they represented giant marine reptiles, distinct from any living species, a groundbreaking idea at the time that helped shape early concepts of extinction. In the 1820 years, Mosasaurus hoffmanii became the first officially described species. For many years, mosasaurs were believed to be giant amphibious lizards with webbed feet or flipper-like limbs, as depicted in the popular 1850 years Crystal Palace statue. By the 1870 years, more complete fossils from North America revealed that mosasaurs had paddle-like flippers and were fully aquatic. Skin impressions showed that their scales were keeled, diamond-shaped, and resembled those of rattlesnakes, although proportionally smaller relative to their large bodies. In the late 1890 years, one specimen was interpreted as having a mane-like fringe of soft tissue along its back. A few years later, it was discovered this was actually tracheal cartilage, but the idea of a frill had already gained traction in paleo art and persisted in artistic depictions for much of the 20th century. Debates about whether mosasaurs were more closely related to monitor lizards or snakes were largely settled by the 1920 years in favor of monitor lizards. However, there was little research on mosasaurs until the dinosaur renaissance reignited interest in the 20th century, bringing new insights into their biology. Today, we know mosasaurs more closely resembled streamlined lizards, converging in form with whales or ichthyosaurs. They had smooth, hydrodynamic bodies with vertical tail flukes and varying scale sizes depending on the part of the body. Evidence suggests parts of their bodies were darkly colored, likely exhibiting countershading, and they may have had forked tongues. Their metabolism was higher than that of most modern lizards, possibly even warm-blooded, and they likely gave birth to live young. A recently discovered fossil soft-shelled egg found in Antarctica may have been laid by a large mosasaur, although this is still under investigation. The debate about their evolutionary ties to snakes has resurfaced in recent studies, with some supporting a closer relationship between the two groups, but there is no consensus yet. Our current understanding of Mosasaurus hoffmanii paints it as a robust mosasaur, growing to at least 11 meters in length. It lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 to 66 million years ago, inhabiting various climates across much of the ancient Atlantic Ocean and surrounding shallow seas, with fossils found in Europe, Africa, and the Americas. With long jaws and a powerful bite, it likely relied heavily on vision for hunting, as it had relatively large eyes and a less acute sense of smell. As one of the largest marine animals of its era, Mosasaurus hoffmanii was a generalist apex predator, feeding on a wide range of prey, including fish, ammonites, and other marine reptiles.